What's going on guys, Talon Flame HD here, and welcome back to Star Trek Elite Force 2. Um, for some strange reason, my recording didn't start, and we're now obviously, as you can see, we're in the uh, holodeck. That's because we've just trained with the, the Gatling gun and we've just met Corban, but for some strange reason, you know, um, my recording didn't start for some reason. So, uh, the Gatling gun is actually a really really sweet weapon and obviously now we have to meet Tuvok in the briefing room so obviously in the last episode I mentioned that the fan heat will still be in the background I do apologize about Hazard that operations. Um, and also that we interrogated Omega in the last episode as well so we'll just head down to Hazard Ops I know this isn't the best intro I've ever done but it'll do take a left Briefing room. Starfleet has authorized a covert mission to the Romulan base. We will enter Romulan space using a special warp signature code we obtained from a Romulan informant. Lieutenant Monroe and Ensign Gonzalez will beam down to separate locations disguised as Romulans. We will both enter the facility using forged credentials and rendezvous inside. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok, Use your tricorder to track the informant's unique transponder signal. The informant will give you access to the secure data banks. Download the coordinates to the master control facility, then activate your comm beacons and we will instantly beam you out. Aye, sir. Please report to sickbay for surgical alteration. Surgical alteration. Fair enough. But is there any weapons in the lockers that I can steal? Doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't look like it. Fair enough. Two one six for Monroe. But there's nothing in the like Yeah. Anyway. Fair enough. We shall. Alright, so let's just also that. Let's just go and get surgically altered Decade to look like a Romulan. And that should. Um, that should just trigger the mission. Go into the shuttle and stuff. So let's find out. Out, Doc. Do you need medical attention? Welcome to sickbay. Ready to become someone else? Let's get started. Mission 10, incognito. The secret Romulan installation. Fair enough. I'm not going to bother reading the mission information. You can read that, guys. Feel free to pause the video, though. Looks like a very barren moon. Alright, find a way into the interior of the installation and find the Romulan informant. Four secrets, five starships. Tactical information. Use bioscan as viewing to detect bioscan lasers. I can do that. Question is which way am I going? I only have a tricorder. So that's structural integrity. That's bioscan. No more. Right, okay, so we've only got two view modes. Fair enough by me. Credentials. Of course, here. I see you transferring from Remus. Make sure you check with Sub Commander Cole. We've recently updated our security protocols and implemented bioscanners throughout the installation to detect for any alien presence. I think this is the part I hear. So if I go to bioscan it, yeah. Yes! 
Well. That happened. <sighs> I'm really gonna hate this fucking mission, aren't I? Oh, can I not no can I no clip through this bit, please? Like, I hate bioscanners. Right, I'm going to wait for the first two to move. Whoa! I didn't realize it was the third. No way! There's no way I triggered it there! There's no fucking way! Oh. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I'm getting fucking sick. Oh, the silky skills. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> okay, that shot was taken off, fair enough. But, uh, <laughs> right. You found a secret area, but there's nothing in said secret area. Can I jump up here? There's a starship. I like how I can't jump up for some reason. Like, I can't crouch jump either, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But this is a starship there, guys, you know that. There's one there now. Was I meant to go somewhere, by the way? What is this? Nope. Command center, that'll do, mate. Did I tell you that this is my last posting out here? About ten times. I think I'm going to like officer protection. Good for you. I won't miss the goal. Or the boredom. Some poor fool fell asleep while protecting an officer. So he's transferred here and I'm promoted inside to operations. I'm not impressed. And I've heard that I may even be able to join their secret society. They're just kidding you. No. They also said I could help install the new transporter jamming device. If it's so great, get me a posting in operations. No. You can only get inside when you have a perfect three-year record. Like mine. Perfect record? Not one successful enemy infiltration. No enemy has even attempted an infiltration. That kind of success <laughs> speaks for itself. That's why I'll be inside with the officers. And not out here in the car. Uh, just take a drink there. But even so, like, no enemy infiltrations. Um, someone started right in front of you. Hi. What? Look, I'm very busy right now and... Wait. I don't remember seeing you before. Command never tells me anything. Here. Give me your orders. Now, soldier. You'll find I'm not a patient man. Hmm. Sector T. That was locked down days ago. It's unusual that you would be ordered there. Well, soldier, you appear to have your credentials in order. I'll upgrade your security clearance. Talk to the guards outside the security depot about getting into Sector T. Okay. That's it, they don't. I can barely feel my hands. The commander said no more complaining. He's not here, is he? I'm freezing. I don't want to hear it. It was really freezing last night, but you missed it. Complaining is bad for morale. 
You missed it because you fell asleep. On duty, in the nice warm officer's quarters. Talk about bad for morale. I'm trying to listen for intruders. It's hard to hear intruders when you're asleep. Haha. <laughs> Banner. Uh, that's completely fine. Right, I need to go here, I think. Yeah, security station, that'll do me. Hi. Um. Health terminal. Let's transfer the data. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, security. Security access. No idea where sector T is, but I'll just follow my rectangle. I guess that's it there. That's sector, yep. Yeah. Sector T. No idea what sector T stands for, but... Oh well. There's nothing behind here I can have. Nope. Alright. Soldier, nobody's getting back there till this door opens. Alright, so that one. That one, that looks like a disruptor. And that one. Sound. You may enter sector T. Alright. <laughs> right. Nice trick. Personal area cloaking device. I'll take one. I'll make my job a lot easier. Sorry, I only have one prototype. It's new technology from the Tal Shiar. Your disguise is remarkable. Old technology from Starfleet. Where's my data? Inside the installation. So how do we get it? You will get it. I'm too important to risk my cover over this mission. Thanks a lot. So how do I get into the installation? The door leading into the installation is protected by a security code. You can find the code in a computer terminal in a nearby office. I've sent its location to your data pad. Sounds easy. It is. Once you get past the Romulans guarding the door. How do I do that? Here, take this. Create a diversion. Shooting the comm systems in the nearby communications room should distract the guards long enough to download the security code. That still doesn't get me the data. One thing at a time. I'll explain more to you once you get inside. If you get inside. Thanks for the vote of confidence. I was supposed to rendezvous with another member of my crew. Have you seen him yet? No, but I'll see if I can find him. I'll get in touch with you again inside. Fair enough. She's gonna disappear. Create a diversion. Yeah, that's... Carrying a disruptor is probably just gonna be the best idea. Especially if I'm meant to be maintaining a fucking cover. Can I jump up here? Nope. Did you hear something? Did it sound like a whine? No, like a footstep. If it sounded like a whine, that would be one of the hounds. It didn't sound like a whine. A few of them picked up a native stomach parasite. Three died last week. I thought the food did taste them last week. So, am I literally just going into here? I mean, I guess. What's this communicate? Yeah. So I'm guessing I just... Yeah, shit. Is that it? I, I really hope it is. Like, I realise I'm not talking much, guys, I do apologise, but I'm trying to focus. Uh, 
It'd be pretty decent if I had a snipe rifle right about now. I'm just saying. Can you just die? Haha, <laughs> vaporized. Love it. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting to get shot. I'm pretty sure there's another way of, like, getting into there without being detected. Get that. Hello. Good timing. The data you need is in a locked and guarded security chamber. Watch out for bioscanning lasers. They activate when they detect non-Romulans. You'll need to use your tricorder to see them. After you get the data, don't waste time waiting for your accomplice. He's been captured. What? Where is he? What difference does it make? He's not a mission priority. He's my priority. Where is he? You want me to risk my deep cover for one expendable? Yes. Very well. I'll see if I can locate him. You do that, bitch. Rescue Ensign Gonzalez. Download computer from the download data from the main computer and gain access to the storage area. Those are our three objectives. So, I'm guessing we go through the door with the green light. And let's go here. Go through that door. Security grid. Ha ha! <laughs> so that turns the lasers off. All right. I'm guessing I just download information from there. Fair enough. Uh, do I just head back? Or do I go somewhere else? I'll go that way apparently. Crouch, please. Crouch. I, I have no way, no idea. How many hours did you bet? Twelve. Is that all? Starfleet training is legendary. I gave him at least 23 hours before he breaks. Not with the new Tal Shiar interrogation training. It only takes them about half a day to break Klingons. Klingons are stubborn, but Starfleet officers are a whole different breed. I've heard that Starfleet prisoners can break Cardassian torturers. Huh. Well, that's Cardassians for you. But why are they so hard to crack? They believe Federation propaganda about freedom and rights. That gives them a psychological advantage. Is it too late to change my bet? No. It's open until the interrogation starts. How do I know you're not deceiving me? How do I know you won't place a low bet? I heard it directly from her when she brought him in. She said we'll have to use our top interrogators on him. Due to his training. <laughs> Can you cover for me while I go place a new bet? Just be quick. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I know you're lying. Or else you wouldn't help me place a bet that could beat yours. Believe what you want. Unless you are counting on me not believing you. Fucking Romulans, man. Right, where are they? He's there. Well, shit. Didn't hear anything. 
You don't know what you're talking about. Like, I wasn't even... I have no idea what that says. So, security station. My, my mouse is acting weird, why? Don't do this to me. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Equipment room access. Equipment room. What's so special about the equipment room? Speaking of which, which way is the equipment room? That way? What's this command center? Jug on. You can't stop us all. What about? Come on, alarm panel. Where the fuck are you? Where did that come from? I mean, there's still one down there, but I guess equipment room, fuck it. What? What are you on about? I didn't trigger anything. Stop triggering the alarm if I haven't triggered anything. Anyway. That one. That one. Uh, come on. How am I meant to get across this? Oh. I do apologise if you just heard anything in the background. I still have no idea how to get across here. So let's just go for it. Yeah, never mind. I died f I've died far too often. And we're back here. So what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm just going to end the episode here. And I'll get back to where I need to be. Uh, in the next episode so thank you so very much for watching if you're new around here hit that subscribe button if you if you'd like the video and want to see some more uh, drop thumbs up as well it'd be greatly appreciated and i'll see you guys later